how's it going everybody and welcome back to the channel now i do apologize for the audio errors we have had over the last two episodes but i think i figured them out now so what we're going to do today is we're going to get started on those contracts but first a couple of things have changed overnight as you can see we've now got a jet wash uh what else has changed well, we've got some pallet forks now because they are much needed uh, we've sold the low loader that is gone because what I've gone for instead is this bail trader which we got really cheap paid three thousand pound for it the tires are good the beds a bit awful but I am gonna get a new bed for it we just need to get these contracts done and we've brought and it's around here somewhere because I had the guy turn up and take all the scrap away this morning it's a bit later in the day than I'd like it to be but that is the way it is we've got this lovely little wind row as well so that allows us to do all of the contract work now and I might be getting rid of this baler somebody is got a square one up for sale and I quite like the look of it so let's get this cleaned off and get this trailer in the barn I think we'll try and put it in there and then we need to get the mower on the back of here and get over to those fields and get this mowing done I haven't done very well with this but it's in and that is what matters right let's get this clean and we'll actually we'll put the mower on the back first and we'll clean that at the same time Although that, that doesn't look very dirty compared to everything else. I haven't checked the weather today either. Probably should check that. And I believe we should be filled with diesel. Yeah, wait. Loads of diesel. 1.7 hours. We put some time on this tractor, haven't we? All right then. So let's just give this a quick clean off and we'll go get this mowing done for today. And that will help massively. This thing was particularly disgusting. It was all that rain we had, it just, yeah, it didn't do very good. Didn't do us very good, should I say. Alright, that's looking pretty good there. I'm quite happy with that. I'm just getting that weird arch right. Let's get all on here. Up under there, lovely. Up over that side. Just get as much of it done as possible. Just get all these other bits. Oh, look at that. It's looking fantastically better. Look at that, full circle. Lovely. Right, let's head over to the first one. I can't quite remember what ones we got, so, but I do remember where they are. So I'll see you all when we get to the first one. And we'll get this mowing done nice and quick. Well, I did check the map and it seems like I've got to come through here through the sheep field. Oh. And they've got plenty of grass still to eat through, so they should be quite happy. Although, I might pinch one of these bales off these jobs. I should have one spare. And we'll uh, give that to the sheep. At least that way they'll have some food. But they look quite happy. So we'll just leave them to it. Need to get a water barrel for them. I think maybe we'll make that a little bit of a priority, especially if we've got those pallet forks now, so we can always sell the wool. But they look like quite happy sheep. Just leave them to do sheep things. I'm so glad that opened up outwards. Right, now this field should be just not that way, I don't think, but that's the way I turned. Right, let's get this gate shut. Ooh. Beautiful, right. Uh, I'll leave that there for a minute. 
and we'll go and is it here Ugh. no that doesn't look like it is it here this is the one this is us right where can we oh the entrance is just there as well perfect right so we'll get this one done and then we will head all the way up to the other field right that is a problem um it's just cut out i know there's fuel in it see that it's missed a bit and then carried i don't understand um right luckily we're not too away from the yard ah blast right we'll go get the other tractor and it's just cut out and i'll ring the dealership as i walk back to the yard because I, I need a rope um lovely little pond yeah okay Right, I'll uh, I'll see you all when I know a bit more from the dealership, I suppose, or I get back to the tractor. Right. Okay then, that's everything. Oh Jesus Christ! Uh, the dealership has said if I can get it there, then <laughs> they will give me a replacement tractor. So. What I need to do is slowly but surely drag it all the way up there. This is going to be a nightmare for me. Um, although this is the quicker out of the two tractors, it's also the least powerful and I need that tractor. Um, so they said they've got space to look at it today. And obviously I only brought the tractor last week. So you know if this shouldn't be the case but it is so I suppose there's not really a great deal that we can do about that oh I just hope they give me if they've got they said they've got something similar power it should be fine for what I want I've just got to get it there I might have to ring them and ask if somebody will sit in it We'll go forwards again so I can get to that chain. <sighs> Lower that down so I can get it off. There we go. Stick that on the front here. Uh, we'll probably want that nice and low actually. There we go. Perfect. Right, chain. Come here. Chain. Nope. Oh, what a faff that... Oh, no. What a pain in the arse that was. Jesus Christ. Right, they said they're going to bring something to me. So, um... I'm just going to have to wait around for a little bit. He said he's going to get it brought over from one of their other shops. It's about 10, 15 mile away. So they've gone to go and get it. I'm going to have tea. I'm not going to use that for mowing. But actually, I'll give it a clean off and everything whilst I'm waiting, I think. Well, he's been, he's gone. I've signed a bit of paper. I'm hoping they can fix mine. He said it's an all right tractor. No. That's not good. Well, he's been and gone. I've signed a bit of paper. He's dropped this off. He said it makes a little bit more power, but he did say when there's nothing attached to it, it's uh, quite lively in the corners. So let's see what this is like. Hmm, not bad. It's uh, very basic. But no air con either. Right, let's fire it up. Alright then, TW25. I don't 
don't like the look of it. But, it's a Ford nonetheless. Let's hope it's good. Alright then. Seems alright. Not too bad at all. Quite slow. Wonder why it took him an hour. Alright, back round through the sheep field and back to mowing. Don't think it feels too bad. It's quite bumpy. You can tell it's a bit older. I think this is the generation before my one. Jesus Christ. Hold on to the steering wheel for dear life because these bumps are something else. Jesus. Oh, I need to get this mowing done, and time is definitely ticking on now today. It feels about three o'clock. Bit close to that gate. I don't know. I can't remember which way it opens. I think it opens to me. Nope, it opens that way. There we go. Right. Get this gate shut. Come on. There we go. It should just beauty. Slam shut. The sheep are still looking quite happy. <sighs> Crikey. Oh, I don't like this tractor at all. I want my one back. It's much more comfortable. And this has a front weight on it as well, so it should be better, if anything. There we go. Alright, I did move the mower out of the actual grass. Oh, that was... Not one of my best moves. That was horrible. <laughs> Especially where it's not my machine as well. Really shouldn't do things like that. There's the mower. We can get hooked up. Might only manage to get this field done today. Oof. The joys of equipment, eh? And it is old as well, but I can't afford anything new. I think this one is actually of relatively similar value to mine. It's probably why he's given it me a bit more. Perfect. Well, we're going, and I know my mow is good, so let's just hope that we can get around this field all right, although it is going slower than my tractor, but there we go, such is, we're going again, and that is what matters, oh, might help if I do that. As a general rule, if you don't mow, mower the mower, lower the mower, they don't tend to cut an awful lot. But we should be cutting now nicely. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. Right. Let's get this done. <laughs>
and here we are now just doing this last bit and if I may add this tractor is horrible like it does the job but this is not my kind of tractor I'm so uncomfortable in here you wouldn't believe and it's four o'clock now so we're gonna head over to that other field hopefully we can get it cut tonight I'm gonna have to get it cut tonight otherwise it won't dry for tomorrow so it might be working into the night on this one which is a bit of a shame but that is just the way it is unfortunately all right we want to go that way we're good let's go right i'll see you when we get this one done or when we get there at least Whew. nightmare this is and this thing is so slow as well oh i've got nothing good to say about this tractor other than the fact that it works right the entrance oh there it is lovely right let's just pull up here oh i've got to get out jesus christ bloody light right oh jesus i could barely feel my bum right i've heard from the dealership about the other tractor um it's it's no good the engine is seized up solid don't know why he did say that he can look at look into finding out why but it's going to cost me money um they've agreed to either i can have this one in five thousand pounds or he said there should be another tractor coming in for part exchange tomorrow which might be more suitable for me so he said keep this one tonight and take this back in the morning and we'll have a look and see what he's got so for now we're just gonna uh carry on with this Do you know what i think i might put my lights on as well let me just uh, find the switch. Is it that one? That that one and that one. Beautiful. Yeah, that's 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 all the lights. Getting dark. Four o'clock. Right. Oh, let's get this done and get this get out this bloody tractor. It's quite a drive home as well, but thankfully the roads are quite smooth. Oh, I can't wait for the morning. I'm not. I'm not bringing this home tomorrow. It's it's staying where it is. Well, it's staying at the dealership. That's where it's staying. I do not want this back on my farm. I'm or my yard. I'm glad that I've had it for the day. But uh, it's it's not one that I'd like to keep, to say the least. It is horrible in here. It feels a bit chip shop, if you know what I mean. So let's push on, get this done. It's only a small field. Shouldn't be here too long, thankfully. And then that's all the mowing done. And then tomorrow we're on to much bigger and much better things. And hopefully he gets a nice tractor in. we will be there for 10. So it's going to be a late one again tomorrow. I've got to take that baler up there tomorrow as well. That's quite handy actually that I've got to go there then. Ha, ah, beautiful. Right, pushing on. I'll switch the camera off. You don't want to hear me jabbering on all day. Oh, we're done. Nearly six o'clock. These lights are awful as well. They really aren't the best. Right then. <clears throat> so, back to the yard. Drop the mower off. 
put the baler on and then we're ready for the morning to head up to the dealership and we'll find out what this part exchange tractor is we've got to be there for 10 o'clock whew well at least it's done so I'll see you all in the morning at the dealership as well for uh, some more fun and games tomorrow and we need to get all this baling done as well so the Heston baler should be there well, it's not a genuine Heston baler but it makes those you know the big square bales um, oh, I need to need a different bale fork as well um, I might have to run up there later on in the day and change that then but for now or could can't get the baler on that trailer but I can get the fork on that trailer yeah, I might run up there when I take the bale trailer out on the little tractor, on the big tractor. I don't know, we might not have a big tractor tomorrow. We might only have the little one. Baling will be fun if we've only got that one. It'll be uh, nearly impossible. That's not my turning. This thing is so slow. Oh, Jesus. And it done half drink some fuel. Like, oh, is it is it moved on here? No, <laughs> it definitely drinks fuel. <laughs> right, I will see you at the dealership, bright and early. Well, not bright and early. Ten o'clock sharp, and we will find out what the new tractor arrangement is. Oh, look at that. There's loads of stuff here. All right, let's pull up with this. The baler's not out, though. Ah, <sighs> right. Pull up here and go and see someone. Lovely. Thank you. Right, so the baler's been brought out, which is good. So we can have a little look at that quick. And then we've got a choice of these tractors. Now, there's a little bit of... No wrong lovely cheers buddy right so the bailer's been brought round so we can have a look at that and there's a little bit of price differences with all these tractors um so we he said we can have a go in them i've got all the keys in my pocket so we can have a look for all those but for now look at this d800 new holland baler so this should make our life a lot easier with bales now yes much better right these a Voltra if you look at the headlight it usually says I can't quite make it out I know what he said it is it's an N165 this is the most expensive one it's also the newest I think this is six years old. It's not bad. Not bad at all. 160, 170 hours, somewhere around there. Well, this one's about the same power, the 8140 Dyna Shift. This looks alright, actually. This one's considerably cheaper than that. And about the same hours. This is the smallest one, the DX140. Um, equally, I suppose, as good in its own right. But these are all going up a scale. It's very small. And then you've got the Fent 816. Hmm. I think for me, it's going to be between the Fent and the Massey. They're the same money. Which is, well, was my tractor and 10 grand. The Vulture is 30 grand. And this one, they'll give me 10 grand. They would have given me 10 grand for the TW as well. But I was like, oh, I can't. Couldn't put up with that, so let's try the Fent. Um, yeah, let's jump in here. All right, this looks good. This looks very good. Oh, look at all these, all these switches and levers and things. All right, let's fire it up. Here we go. That sounds good. 
That does sound good. That sounds spot on, doesn't it? All right. I'm just going to drive it round here. It'll let us know. Whoa. That's quite good, that is. I quite like that. This is good. I like this one. All right, we'll put this one over here then, because we definitely like this one. Air brakes. Uh, we'll just make sure all the lights work. Yup. Yep. No beacon. I'll have to ask him to put a beacon on. And those lights work as well. Wonderful. Right, I bet he'll throw a beacon on there for free. Um, let's jump into the Massey. Oh, it's a bit of a squeeze. Ah, right, there we go. I just had to walk that one back a bit. Sounds alright. It's a lot quieter than the Fen. It doesn't drive as nicely as the Fen. Not quite as many levers and switches. Little computer in this one. Aircon, look at that. Got a clock there as well. But I don't think that's correct. I make it 10 o'clock in the morning on the dot. Right, here we go. Do you know what? This feels more stable than the Fent does. And it does about the same speed. I think for me it is really going to be difficult between these two tractors. Um, we've got Beacon on this one. Let's just have a look at the lights. Yep, they're good. Ooh, they work well. Yep. Beacon, yep. Lovely. Right. Um, do you know what? I've got to have a look at it. We've got to have a look at the Voltra. We can't not at least have a look inside. Oh, look at this. It's so modern. So refined and all that lovely stuff. But I don't think I've got that 30 grand. Oh. That is quiet. It almost makes me want to talk quietly. <laughs> not so quiet out here. But no, it's nice. It is nice. But uh, a little bit out of our budget. So, let's go and do a deal. Mm. I know what one I want. And weirdly enough, it's not this one. I think we're going to go for the Massey. Oh... That does sound good though. That sounds absolutely incredible. I tell you, that could be a game changer right there. Just the noise of it. Though this looks like she's got a straight stack. Mm, I definitely prefer the sound of the fence, but we are going to stick with the Massey. I shall stick with my first choice. We'll get it hitched up. Ready to go. Alright, let's go and do some figures. And move on from there. 
Aye, right, mate. I'll take the Massey, please. All right, so we are uh, cruising back down in the Massey now. Paperwork's all filled out. Everything's sorted. We should be home just in time for 11 o'clock. So I'm hoping we can get straight out into those fields. Obviously, we're going to use the Massey today. How could you not? And I want to at least get everything tedded. And he has just said they've got a rower coming in that's a lot bigger than mine. And because my I brought mine brand spanking new and I've never, literally I've brought it back to the farm. That's it. Second hand, double the width, same money. So he said I could take mine back and I can have this, this second hand one for the same money. But he doesn't know the condition of it yet. So he's waiting for that to go in later on today. And we will find out. But a, a bigger row is going to be a big difference for us. The tether doesn't really bother me so much. Because, I mean, realistically, when I can afford to, I'd like ooh, to move on to doing some silage bales. Oh, I'd like to just move on to doing anything other than making bales, I suppose. Right, let's get hit hitched up to the tether. Get out there, get some of this done. Oh, it's bright and early. Oh, bit too far. There we go. Bit too far one way, not far enough over. Probably helped if I was in the cab and I could see what I was doing. Just seeing if I could get that window to bloody open. Right, there we go. Alright then. Now, because this tractor is considerably quicker, I don't mind taking the road. It's a lovely little bale tractor. Oh, I love that little tractor. That is staying forever. I'm never going to let that tractor go, and I don't even care if it sits there and rots in a corner. I don't care what anybody says. That was my first tractor on it. That is staying. That is a new rule that I'm hoping to carry on with, is that, oh, every single series, the first tractor cannot be sold. Unless we're doing a no man's land survival, then everything's for sale at the right price. But we can actually get around the map a little bit quicker now and get just things done in general quicker now. I think this has more power. I think this is 165. I can't quite remember. I've got so much going on in my head trying to, you know, build a business up. And there we go. We are now making hay. I feel like I've used the third, the third person camera too much today. Hey, but there we go. Look at us go. Look at that PTO speed. Nearly 1500 revolutions a minute. We're doing 9.8 mile an hour. It's good. We're doing well. So let's push on with this get both these fields done today we've got plenty of time to get it done this morning get this done and come back later on this afternoon roll them up get them bailed get them gone bail it load it sell it move on to the next job although the phone hasn't gone off for another job so i might end up uh asking around i know one of these contracts is for Sutton Farms, who we did last time, and the other one is for a neighbouring farmer of his, so we'll have to wait and see what he wants, if that other guy wants more done or not. But we will hopefully get more and more work as the days keep coming. I can't believe that tractor broke earlier today. I, did. Oh, I can't believe it. But I suppose that is the joys of buying second-hand equipment. This is second-hand as well, so hopefully 
it just works and keeps on plodding along. <sighs> Let's get this done. Is this field completed another field done out the way we can forget about well no we can't forget about it can we we've still got to uh, carry on but let's get this folded up lifted up off we go to the next job all right loving this tractor though it is fantastic it pulls perfectly it doesn't struggle it feels nice and stable like even over these bumps it's pretty uh, good compared to that tw it's amazing but it's still not great like tractors and bumps not a good combination generally but there we go And then we go along here for a bit and we turn right and then we go up that road and then we go left I think I know this is the way we'll have to go with the bales I'm looking forward to using that new baler whoo that is exciting news we've got the beacon flashing oh everything is good Day is a good day so I think what we're gonna end up doing is probably calling the episode here I'm gonna uh, row it and bale it and then next episode we'll pick all the bales up sell them and look forward to our next adventure I'm also gonna give the sheep a hay bale as well so that is all from me today I hope you've all enjoyed today's episode I don't know I have. I love this tractor. Let me know in the comments section below if there's anything you want to see me do or see happen on the series. If there's anything you think I've done wrong or could do better. I mean, there's always something we could do better or wrong. If you could let me know in the comments section below. Please feel free to like and subscribe if you are enjoying this content. Do not do so if you don't. I... I don't want to encourage people to do things they don't want to do but that is all for me today and i will see you all in the next one